Welcome to Rebuke All Devils Radio, 107.7, home of the tree. Subscribe to our channel and receive breaking news, world news, along with a variety of true music on our playlist. If you would like to join us or advertise, email us at Rebuke All Devils Radio, 107.7, at yahoo.com, home of the tree, and show What's up, YouTube? And welcome back to another edition of Rebuke All Devils Radio 107.7, home of the truth. And on this December 27th, man, we got this story courtesy of CNN, right? But first of all, don't forget to like, subscribe, and share. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to all my viewers and listeners, man, that's been dropping comments, giving the, you know, the, the channel views. You know, we appreciate that. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share, too. I think I said that. But check this out. Winter storm death toll rises to 27 in the Buffalo, New York area. But officials fear it will continue to climb. So look at this, man. Look at the look at some of the snowfalls. Buffalo, 43 inches. Baraga, 42. Salt, 35. Lorium, uh, 34. Watertown, 34. And these are inches, right? Dozens of Americans have died as a winter storm brought frigid temperatures and paralyzing snowfall totals across the U.S. And the officials in the Buffalo area believe the staggering toll will continue to grow there as teams carry on with search and rescue missions. The nationwide death toll um, from storm, which brought more than 40 inches of snow to some areas, climbed to 49 on Monday, with 27 of those deaths in Erie County, New York. Buffalo Police Commissioner Joseph uh, Gramaglia told CNN's Wolf Blisser, unfortunately, they are still recovering bodies. Some died of exposure, and some deaths were due to natural causes, he said of the people found dead recently. The commissioner implored residents, stay home, don't go out. He said emergency responders will go and have gone to homes without heat and take people to warming shelters. Too many people, including residents just going out to see the massive snowfall or going out in their vehicles and getting stuck and blocking recovery efforts, he said. Erie County Executive Mark uh, Polenkars tweeted that 14 people in the county had died of exposure. Three people were found in their vehicles. Four had no heat. Three were from shoveling snow, blowing cardiac events, and three people passed away after EMS services were delayed. He told CNN that unfortunately, it appears the numbers will go up. Check this out. I am aware of additional bodies that have been recovered and, and are being brought to our temporary morgue, he told the Situation Room with Wolf Blitzer. We've had so many bodies that various hospitals are full and we're just having to go through and determine if the individuals have died from a blizzard-related death. It's just been a horrible, horrible situation, he added. The deadly storm comes just one month after the region was slammed with an historic snowstorm. So check this out, man. We're going to look at a couple of these pictures and, you know, y'all could go to uh, CNN and I'll get to read up on that. Finish it if you want to. But look at this house, man. Completely covered in ice. Look at this. And, the, and as you see right here, the man, thank God they still got electricity because right there you can barely see the porch light on. Man, ain't that something? Wow, you see the power of the most high right here. Look at this. This is uh, snow covers downtown Buffalo, New York on Monday, December 26, 2022. Look at that. Thank you, Kathy, for sharing this uh, on your uh, via your Twitter page. Look at downtown Buffalo cover. I mean, cars are just stuck. And all those people, man, that, that was shoveling snow and, and that died, our hearts and prayers go out to their families, man. And man, it's just wild. What a terrible way to die, to freeze to death. Look at that neighborhood. Man, man, man. Man, 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 I tell you, man. 
you know, it is real out here. And, you know, when winter time come, especially for the people that live in those areas, you know, they should, you know, they should be used to stuff like this and, and, and you know, and being prepared, you know. But, man, you just see the power of God and the elements that he creates, you know. He control them. You know, man don't control this. You know, the most high controls this. You know what I mean? But what do y'all think about this historic snowstorm, man? You know, I, I, I personally haven't seen nothing like it, you know, here lately. I know down in South Texas, they got hit with that big freeze last year in 2021. You know what I'm saying? And that wasn't no joke. A lot of people was affected like that. I think that was the first time in, in history, I, th I think maybe, that the whole state, you know, had froze at once, was covered in snow. The whole state of Texas. But man, look at that house right there. Drop your comments down below. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share. Don't forget to click on that notification bell. And I'll catch you on the next episode. And don't forget to go over there and bump that Rebuke All Devils radio playlist. Nothing but the truth music, man. You know, something to, you know, make you feel better all day, every day, man. Share that playlist with your friends, your family. You know what I'm saying? Bump it on the Sabbath. Bump it every day of the week, you know. It's, it's righteous music, you know what I mean? That's what we all deserve. We deserve something righteous in our ear. Something that's not talking about degrading our women, killing our brothers and our sisters and our children. You know what I mean? But being respectful and obedient to the Most High. With that being said, I say have a blessed day and shallow one.